Welcome back to Hanna Instruments. We're going to continue our 901 training today with uh, pH calibration. Uh, we have the monitor hooked up so you can see a little better. Uh, your machine the button on the far right will always be either titrator or pH mode. When it's in titration mode, we're in TA right now. This button right here will say pH. So we're clicking what will be the F9 button, going into the pH mode. We'll want to pull up the pH menu. This is where your calibration lies. Okay, so we have some choices here. First choice is add a buffer auto entry. You can pre-select the buffers you're going to use. Second one is add a buffer manual entry. You'll just type in which buffer you're going to use and hit select. Clear standardization data you'll want to do whenever you're replacing a probe, whenever you've done a thorough cleaning of your probe or change the inside solution. Edit buffer set has to do with the add a buffer auto entry. That's where you'd select which buffers you would like the machine to automatically calibrate to. Graph pH standardization data is just going to show you your slope. pH standardization data. You see here we have three buffers. This is where it'll store your buffer information. Last time you calibrated and which buffers you used. And then the final one is pH resolution. So we're going to start by clearing our standardization data. Scroll down, clear standardization data, hit select. It'll ask you if you would like to clear it. Hit clear. So you'll see now there are zero buffers under pH standardization data. There's no entry points at the moment. So we're going to start by adding 7.01, which is, you should always start at your neutral, 7.00 or 7.01. So we'll select add a buffer manual entry. Right now it's set up for 3.01, so we'll simply on the keypad type in 7.01. Okay, now you'll want to prepare your sample underneath your probe. So we have our buffer marked so we don't get them confused. We've already cleaned our probe and our stir bar, which is critical for all pH calibration. You always want to clean and dry stir bar and probe. So once it's in there, below the junction, simply hit accept. The machine will stir for 10 seconds and then it'll take a reading. As long as the reading falls within a certain set of parameters, it'll, it'll go back to the pH menu and we'll see the buffer entry. There we go. Now you can see under pH standardization data, one buffer. I'll scroll down that real quick just so you see what it has here. So there we go, we did a 7.01 pH buffer, came in at 100%. Uh, it was done March 12, 2010. So we've done seven, now we want to add, go to our next buffer. Today we're only going to do two, you can do up to four. Recommended is three. We'll hit manual entry again. This time we're going to use our 3.01. So again, to the keyboard, three. And we'll prepare our sample. Again, we always rinse and dry between samples when we're doing pH calibration. Okay, so we'll take our three buffer. And simply hit accept. Just like the 7.0 buffer, it's going to run for 10 seconds mixing the sample, then take the reading. As long as it falls within a certain set of parameters, it'll accept it and go back to the pH buffer menu. And there we go. So as you can see, we now have two standardization data points. This is where you can come in if you're curious if your crew calibrated your probe last week that they're supposed to. Here's where you can find out. F7, the middle button will be View Graph. This will be your standardization curve. Okay, so that is it for calibrating the pH probe on the HANA 901 and 902 auto titrator. We're going to escape out now. Back to our pH mode. Thank you very much. We're going to move on to our next test.